Well, Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich wants to set the record straight about a deputy involved shooting over the weekend. Today, he commended the bravery of Deputy Jared Keene. He's the one who shot and killed 48 year old Roy Jacobs during a confrontation at an apartment early Saturday morning. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz live now in our studio tonight. Kylie, it sounds like the sheriff held that news conference because he wanted the deputy's side of the story heard. And that's exactly right, Nadine. Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich wants to paint a clear picture of the situation and the dangers his deputies were put in. Now, Knezovich said his deputies were responding to a warrant call in the Spokane Valley at 540 Saturday morning. They arrived on scene to find 48 year old Roy Jacobs in a struggle with a woman. The woman was on top of Jacobs. Now deputies say Jacob was armed with a 12 inch knife. Now Deputy Keene pulled the woman off of Jacobs and told him repeatedly to drop his weapon. Now once Jacob stood up out of his chair, Keene drew his weapon. Now the sheriff says Jacobs refused to drop the knife. He then took a step toward Keene and at that point when they were six feet apart, Keene fired two shots. Now today Knezovich commended Deputy Keene handling the situation and says he believes the youth Use of force is justified. You don't go to work uh, with the intention of ever taking a human life. And uh, it, it is troubling to all law enforcement in the Spokane area that when one of these situations happen, it's automatically some people jump to the conclusions that something was, went wrong. Um, no one wants to wait till the facts come out. And the deputies deserve better than that. Now, Knezovich said multiple people were inside the apartment at the time of the shooting, including children who were in a back room. The deputy Keene, along with the other deputies present on Saturday, are on paid administrative leave. All of them have been interviewed. And once the Spokane Investigative Regional Response Team completes its investigation, the case will then be forwarded to the prosecutor's office for review. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 News.